What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are showcasing arguably the strongest Pokemon in competitive battles, Palafin. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel. It takes about two seconds of your guys' time and it really helps me grow as a content creator. So if you guys aren't subscribed, Seriously, it goes a long way, but you guys are probably wondering, why is Palafin, this little dolphin, the strongest Pokemon in the game? It is because of its ability zero to hero, and if you guys do not know what it does, every time you swap out of the battle, it changes its form to hero form. So it's not a little dolphin anymore, it is a giant monster superhero fish. And I'm telling you, the stats is unreal, they are stronger than any pseudo legendary, so once you get this Pokemon swapped out, it is it's top tier it's going to come into battle and do a crazy amount of damage and on top of that it learns move flip turn which is basically volt switch for a water pokemon so it can use a move swap out come back in later in its hero form and be one of the strongest pokemon in the game so that's how palafin is going to be rocking today we're gonna to be rocking out with it trying to grab some wins on that rank ladder but let's get started here with today's team preview starting off in that top left corner with the one and only amoongus over here amoongus is so good on the support side really good all around with that regenerator ability alongside with the guapberry as item this one has a fire terror type if we have to change and then we got clear smog spore to put pokemon to sleep rage power to protect ally pokemon and then we got protect for our final move second pokemon on today's team it's arguably one of the strongest pokemon in the game as well we got dragonite over here but not just any dragonite it is a normal terror type with a choice ban and then it learns extreme speed so extreme speed gives first turn priority the terror types makes extreme speed stab so it gets more damage then the choice ban makes it do even more damage so on top of that you're gonna have a stab extreme speed with first turn priority with choice ban boosted so pretty ridiculous combo right there really good i've been seeing it all over the ladder and a lot of people are just getting a lot of work done with it the other three moves for Pokemon are going to include Earthquake, Iron Head, and Fire Punch. Middle left is going to be the star of the show. It is going to be Palafin over here. I absolutely love this Pokemon and use it as my as one of my Pokemons for my playthrough. It's got Zero to Hero as its ability, Choice Scarf as item to make it outspeed most Pokemon, and it's got Wave Crash, Close Combat, Iron Head, and Flip Turn for its four moves. Fourth Pokemon on today's team is going to be King Bam Gambit. I am going to be making a video on King Gambit, showcasing him in another or to its fullest potential. But for today's video, he's just chilling on team and we're going to be using him a little bit. It's got Defiant alongside with the Life Form. It's got Iron Head, Kowtow Cleave for its signature move, Sucker Punch for first turn priority, and Protect. Cannot wait to use this Pokemon. Such cool design. Bottom left hand corner is going to be Arcanine. Arcanine is going to be top tier in this game. Just this move set and its ability just thrives out well. It has Intimidate, Safety Goggles, and then Flare Blitz, Snarl for special attack drops, Will of Wisp to burn physical attackers, and Protect for its Protect. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be another support mod. It's going to be Sableye over here with the Roselli Berry and Prankster. It's got Foul Play, it's got Helping Hand, Fake Out, and Will O' Wisp. So really good up against physical attackers with the Foul Play and the Will O' Wisp. And then on top of that, it's got Helping Hand to make Pokemon do even more damage. So you can pair them up with, say, Dragonite over here. Helping Hand the Dragonite, then just go Choice Ban, Extreme Speed, Terrasalize, and the Normal Type. And I'm telling you guys, the damage is going to be through the roof. Guys, if you want to rent the scene for yourself, rental code is at the top right-hand corner. But let's get after it. Let's hop on that doubles ladder. Look to get some wins with this Palafin team. First match coming at you guys, going up against a Hail team, or not Hail anymore, it is now Snow with a Bombastone Glaceon. He's also rocking the Garchomp, he's got the Gyarados for Intimidate, also rocking a Tinkaton for Fake Out, and Rotom Wash. I feel like Palafin's going to be a solid lead all around, I definitely want to lead Palafin, just so I can uh, flip turn out and get one from there. Arcanine could also be solid, but I, mm, do I see him leading a water Pokemon? Quite possibly, right? Could go King's Gambit instead, or I can just go straight Dragonite. Dragonite is not bad here at all with the terrestrialization. I'm just rolling out strong with it. So I could go Dragonite. Uh, what's my ability here? I think it's Inner Focus, right? Am I rocking Inner Focus? Show me Inner Focus. Where's it at? Where's the ability at? Where is your ability? There it is. Inner Focus. So we do have Inner Focus. So I feel like leading that because we know Tinkaton learns Fake Out. So I could go in with Inner Focus and Palafin. So I'm digging that. We'll bring King's Gambit in the back end and then have Arcanine thriving back there as well with Intimidate. So I'm going to lock it in. I'm going to lock it down. We're going to look to grab ourselves our first win. But I'm hoping he leads the Tinkathon because we can force him into a fake out into our Palafin slot. And instead of going for a flip turn, we could just hard swap. And that has been a really good thing to do with Palafins when you know fake outs on the field because it is just such a draw for an opponent to fake out the Palafin because they do not want it to swap back. So we can waste out a turn that way. Possibly Terrasalize or Dragonite and kind of roll out. They're really, really light. I'm telling you guys, this, the, the damage is, is ridiculous. It might be, it's broken. It's going to be a broken thing where I think they might end up banning. 
Or, I mean, maybe you just have to start bringing things to counter it, which close combat is really good at countering that combo. Because a lot of people use Dragonite, and it's usually either a normal or iron terror type, not iron, steel terror type. So close combat or fighting Pokemon really counters that up hard. But let's see, it goes into Obama Snow and Glaceon, which I'm really fine with. I am going to flip turn out of here. And I feel like we have to go after Glaceon? But Glaceon might have a snow clue. Yeah, definitely want to flip turn. I want to flip turn into Glaceon and uh yeah we're just gonna Terrasilize here I feel like or I can just choice and save my Terrasilization and roll out with Fire Punch which I'm really leaning towards I'm really leaning towards just dropping this thing four times super effective not wasting our Terrasilization and going from there so we're just gonna Ice Shard me that's fine flip turn's gonna come out here and it's not even gonna do that much damage did like nothing because Glaceon is rather bulky I'm gonna hope Dragonite can actually get off a turn here but at this point, I could just go into Arcanine if I want to. Or I could go right into here. Which I'm kind of leaning towards. Maybe terrassing him. But look at my Palafin. Look at my Palafin. This is what I was talking about. He, he changes into a complete superhero fish. Look at this bad boy. Super strong. Look at his stats. 233 attack. That is ridiculously strong. But I'm going to go into King's Game. I'm going to save my Arcanine. I'm gonna save my lovely little Arcanine for physical attackers and we're gonna bring out the lovely King's Gambit. I'm able to outspeed, I drop a fire punch, and we do not take him out. Is that thing sashed? It is sashed. So we sashed. Glaceon's probably gonna take out my Dragonite, right? Drop a Blizzard. Take out my Dragonite. Totally fine. I can now roll out into my Choice Scarf Boy and get rolling from there. I'm totally cool with this. I'm totally cool with bringing out my Choice Scarf Palafin. So Palafin's gonna come out here, we're gonna try to showcase it off, but something I love about the King's Gambit line is it is all based on chess. All the evolutions and all the Pokemon. Pawn Yard is based on a pawn, and then you got Bisharp based on the Bishop, and then you got King's Gambit, which is like a play in chess, or like a, uh, a like a few moves in chess, but it's based on the King. I think that's such a sick line. I think that is really cool, and I'm just figuring this out now. But from here, I'm gonna drop a Sucker Punch just so you cannot go, and then I am just going to go into a... Terrastalize water wave crash right because i want to stay water let me see his pokemon real quick i want to stay water here just for the sheer fact is uh we're gonna be choicing and i kind of like the water at the same time i don't but yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna terrestrialize it and wave crash right into you right into you we're getting after it we getting right after this battle terrestrialize my boy we got a palafin we still have arcanine in the back end which is kind of scary though because he is rocking a few water type pokemon but as long as I can keep my King Gambit around, I feel like we should be fine. I feel like we should be fine. But Palfin gets the Terrestrialization. We're going to go for a Sucker Punch. We're going to finish this thing off. See you later. And Palfin's going to be able to outspeed. I think he should be able to pick up the KO. The stat's so high. And then Terrassing on top of that is just ridiculous. Wave Crash coming in here. We're Choice Scarf. We're going to be able to outspeed. And come on, pick up the KO. Palfin, show him your worth. Look at this Pokemon. I told you guys this Pokemon is ridiculously strong. And he's just whipping into these uh, Glaceons. So big time damage coming out here. We still are going to be faster than everything. Hopefully he's not rocking Gyarados. Gyarados could be tough. But actually, we do have Defiant, so that could be good. He could force out a Defiant pop. Tinkaton's going to come out here, so Fake Out is definitely an option. And he's going to bring out Garchomp. Um, I wish I had Protect on my on my King Gamut, but I... Or not my King Gamut, on my... uh. On my Palafin, but I don't. But from here, you know what? I'm just going to swap into Arcanine. Because I feel like the Fake Out's got to come over there. And just stay in here with King Gambit, right? Because I could Iron Head here. We're going to Kowtow Cleave, too. What I'm thinking of doing. This attack never misses. Go after the Garchomp. My Palafin can cleanly, cleanly take out the Tinkaton. Uh, Tinkaton. But something I learned while just playing off screen is you can swap your Talash to your Terrastalized Pokemon. And then when he comes back in, he's still going to be Terrasalized. That's incredible. I did not know that. So I'm fine with going for the swap here. I'm fine with going for this hard swap. Bringing out Intimidate onto two physical attackers. And on top of that, hopefully the Fake Out comes into the Arcanine slot. Which I think it would because, you know, I would do the same thing. Yeah, there it is. So Fake Out comes over there. And Dragon Call is going to fly here. He's going to double down into that Pokemon. And you get a crit. That kind of hurts. Bypasses that. Uh, it bypasses the Intimidate. But there we go. We get off some big time damage with that Kowtow Cleave. And then from here, um, could just straight up Flare Blitz. Sucker Punch would be good. I feel like Sucker Punch should be able to KO. Okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to Sucker Punch here. 
I'm just going to Flare Blitz into the Tinkathon. If we can get this off, that could be good. Let's see what he does. Yo, King Gambit's doing some work. Palfin's doing some work. We still have Palfin in the back end, which I love. And I have the Choice Scarf, so I'm going to be able to outspeed these guys. But we'll see. These guys are both minus one. He protects the Chomp. Smart play. I'll Sucker Punch it next turn. But I feel like the King Gambit's got to go, or the Tinkathon has to go after King Gambit at this point. That means it could take a, it's going to be taking his Flare Blitz. The Flare Blitz coming in hot here. Picks up the easy KO. I probably died to recoil, right? Do I die to recoil? That's a, that's, a, that's a good amount of damage we just did. Yeah, we died to recoil, but it's all good. I'm going to be able to bring out my Palafin yet again, which is already to Slide. It has the Choice Scarf. It's going to be able to outspeed everything. So it's pretty much GG's. It's pretty much GG's. And as you can see, right next to the Palafin's name, it has a little Terrasalization em emblem or logo. So it means I'm still Terrasalize. So really cool that you can swap out Terrasalize Pokemon and bring them back in here. But solid first battle. We are killing it right now. I'm going to go for an Iron Head just because I want Palafin to go first instead of a Sucker Punch. And I'm just going to drop another Wave Crash because Wave Crash is ridiculously strong. Base 120 power, but you get recoil damage. It's base 120 power. Add Stab on top of that. It goes to 180 and then double damage because or another Stab boost. So another 60 because of Terrasalization. Come on, guys. That is ridiculous. Base 240 power on this wave crash right here. And then on top of that, its base stat is like 233. Battles canceled. Palafin and King Gambit show out in battle number one. Second match coming at you guys. Going up against a Trick Room team. Hopefully, we can win this one. But I feel like Trick Room's going to be hard to counter. It's a Bronzong, that Cinnamon Stick, the gold Pokemon, the Gimme Gold second evolution. He's got Arcanine, Torkoal, and Hariyama, who are very scary in Trick Room. And then Brute Bonnet, which is the new ancient form for Amoongus over here. Okay, um, how should I play this one? I feel like Dragonite might have to come out here because Extreme Speed can really do us a lot of work. He is going to have Fake Out, which is going to be a pain, but I could go into a Pokemon like Sableye. Let's try to get things started here. Foul play, Fake Out, Helping Hand. I kind of like Sableye maybe for a lead. It's going to be tough, but first and priority Pokemon are going to be great for us. Hmm. I feel like Bronzong is an absolute must to bring, right? He's going to bring Bronzong, and I'm going to go Sableye. Yeah, I'm going to go in with them, too. I am going to bring in Palafin and King Gambit. Actually, I don't really want Palafin here. I'll go King Gambit and Arcanine. I think if you're not leading Palafin, you don't really get a lot of value out of it. You know? But in this situation with the Trick Room, I just feel like we have to not lead Palafin. We just have to get straight after a battle. Because we don't really have a way to kind of counter Trick Room with this team. I don't really have that. I mean, I could go into a Mugus. Oh, I should have brought a Mugus. I should have brought a Mugus. Mugus is OP and Trick Room. Because then I could just start sporing and outspeeding. So we'll see what he wants to do. Bronzong and Hariyami. Can't fake out any of my Pokemon here. I could Terrasse and just go into Extreme Speeds. Which I think is going to be my play. I really do think it's going to be my play. It's just Terrasse. Start dropping some Extreme Speeds. Going after his Hariyama. He can't fake me out. And I could help him hand this if I want to. But I could also fake out the Bronzong. I am going to fake out the bronze zone. That's going to be my play. That's going to be my play. All right. I don't mind the turn. I don't mind the turn. I don't think Hariyama dies to this extreme speed, considering it's so bulky on the defense board. But this combo should be able to do half damage to the Hariyama. Should be able to. Oh, but if he's close combating into me, that could be that could be scary. That could definitely be scary. Fake out comes out here. Is he going to try to fake out my Dragonite? He does. I'm in a focus. It do not matter. Extreme speed flying here. Should be able to do a good amount of damage, like I said. And oh my god, yes. Up against that bulky Pokemon. That is ridiculous amount of damage. He's gonna eat a citrus berry. I think another extreme speed still takes out. Yes, it does. Well, should be able to. And how do you oh it has covert cloak? It definitely has that new item, the covert cloak. It's definitely rocking that new item, the covert cloak. 100 percent 100 percent it's rocking the covert cloak. That was one. I was like, wait a minute. How did I flinch the new item? Like, the new item doesn't allow additional effects. So, fake outs are not allowed. It cannot flinch on fake outs. It cannot get, like, other things. It's really good all around. Like, flamethrower, you know how it has a chance to burn? It won't have a chance to burn after that. But he's going to Terrasse in a fighting type. And I'm fine with that. Because if he's staying in for the shot, it should be able to pick up the KO. The fighting Terrasseization looks sick. Extreme speed's flying here. You might just waste his Terrasse here. Which is really good. So we get rid of the Hariyama, which I'm a big fan of. We get rid of Hariyama. That Pokemon's OP and Trick Room. And we already know who he's bringing out, though. We already know Torkoal's coming out here. So as long as he doesn't put me to sleep. 
I feel like we should be fine. It's gonna go for Heavy Slam. Let's be soak. Okay, cool. Torkoal's gonna be a pain, but Foul Play's gonna fly here. And yo, Sableye doing some work. Sableye's doing some work. Sableye's doing some work. I'm gonna bring out Torkoal. I'm just gonna extreme speed into it. But if he wants to erupt, actually, yo, let's help hand this one. We gotta help hand this one, right? We gotta go extreme speed and then helping hand on top of that. It's a must. It's an absolute must. We need our Dragonite to basically carry us through this trick room. Because first turn priority, we need it so bad. If we didn't have this Dragonite, they're just steamrolling us. Because if we didn't have this extreme speed, he would be able to drop an eruption like turn one. He would also be able to uh, have that Hariyama still, drop in close combats and all that. But he didn't waste his Terrash type, which is huge. Which is definitely big. Helping hand coming out here. Giving that boost of damage. And then extreme speed flying again, which is beautiful. And this might KO. Torkoal's pretty bulky on defense, but helping hand really helps us out. Brings it down the red. Solid damage. Eruption's gonna do literally nothing. Because it's based on HP. And we're rolling out strong here. He's gonna go for another heavy slam. That's fine. Torkoal is going to protect here too. I already see that coming from 16,000 miles away. So I'm just gonna go from put my attention over onto this thing. Actually, a foul play KO's that. We might as well extreme speed, just in case he doesn't protect. We might as well extreme speed here. Just in case he doesn't protect, we're going to extreme speed and foul play should be able to pick up the KO. But I do think he's going to protect the Torkoal, unless he's choice or something like that. Yeah. So, I, I knew he was protecting, but I knew foul play can pick up the KO, so... I just thought this was hands down the play. This is definitely the play for us. Heavy slam coming in here. We're soaking these heavy slams. He cannot get a KO onto us. Foul play's gonna fly, pick up the KO, and that turn is just fine. That turn was just fine. And now he's sitting here, and I can just extreme speed take out the Torkoal. <laughs> he's forced to bring out his last Pokemon, which is going to be, please be Cinnamon Stick. No, it's the Brute Bonnet. And I'm fine with this. He's gonna always oh, gonna get Protosynthesis, and his attack's gonna get heightened. And I feel like I have to burn that thing at this point, right? Extreme speed, take out the Torkoal. Throw a little will o down onto the slot. We'll cook it from here, but I feel like our opponent cancels the battle. We're just steamrolling him, even in the trick room. Even in the trick room, we're playing perfectly. He goes for double protect. It's going to fail. We're going to drop a lovely little extreme speed here. And this is what I was talking about with OP with this Dragonite. It's unstoppable. It is unstoppable. Even in trick room, it's just steamrolling Pokemon. So I guess this is the way to counter trick room with this, uh, with this team. Oh, this thing's dark type. Oh man, I forgot about the brute bonnets type. He's gonna be able to drop the uh, the seeds, seed bomb, take out my little old dragonite. But yo, dragonite, way to get some work done. Way to get some work done. We can now bring out Arcanine in the sun, and trick room's gone, and I can legit just pop a, a flare blitz here. Helping hand flare blitz should say GG, and I think our opponent should cancel battle after this. Light, it is light work right now. Light work. Flare blitz coming in hot. The sun's still going. Yeah, the sun's still going, and we'll just help a hand on top of this. Cancel battle? He does not. He said he wants his Brute Bonnet to die. Unless he has to move the KO my Arcanine. Nah, it's dead. It's dead. See you later, Brute Bonnet. No, it's Sashed. Never mind. <laughs> it's Sashed. Hold up. Wait a minute. We got a battle. We got a battle. It's all good. I have Sucker Punch in the back end. Let's see what it does. It's gonna drop a Spore. And I'm not affected by Spore. I got the safety goggles. <laughs> I got the safety goggles as my item. Loving it. This dude's not having it. So I'm just going to go there with Snarl. Go for a foul play. Do you cancel battle now? Yep, there it is. 2-0 to get us started. Let's hop through a third and final battle. And try to use Palafin one more time. Third and final match coming at you guys. And we have a Palafin Mirror matchup, which is really cool. Going up against a rain team with Swift Swim Barracuda. He also has Azumarill, Scizor, and then Gyarados and Palafin, like we already mentioned. And I did not say Pelper, but Pelper's there to set the rain. All right, um, I definitely want to bring Palafin. If he's going to go Palafin, I got to bring Palafin, right? And I want to show it off in this battle. So I'm going to go Palafin for the lead. I could go Amoongus here as well. Amoongus is not bad, especially with the Spores, the uh, Rage Powders, all that good stuff could be good. I could lead it or I can bring it in the back end. I definitely want King Gambit and Dragonite. I feel like this top four is really where we're going to thrive here. And I might go Dragonite for a lead. Dragonite's just so good. It's just so good. So I might go Dragonite for a lead. And you know what? Mm, where do I go King Gambit for a lead? Let's go King Gambit for a lead. Bring Dragonite in the back end. We'll go King Gambit. We'll go Palafin. We'll bring Amoongus and Dragonite in the back end. Because if I can flip turn, I can swap out my Palafin. Bring out Amoongus. Kind of protect your King Gambit. Get off some more damage. Go from there. 
then we can go from there. But Dragonite's going to be really good, especially up against a Swift Swim Pokemon. But Weather is going to be his friend. So we played a normal match bat in match number one. Won that one. We played up against a Trick Room team in match number two. Won that one. Now we got another test on our hands. A Rain team. A Weather Squad reversing. Actually, versus Snow team in uh, battle number one. But still, Rain is definitely a lot better than Snow. But Snow definitely got a buff. Snow definitely got a buff. Over here, I can flip turn. And I'm going to go after the Bear Scooter, I feel like. I feel like we have to go after the Bear Scooter. And I'm just going to Sucker Punch on top of that Bear Scooter. I feel like Palfin might be able to outspeed Bear Scooter. Sucker Punch flying through here. Getting off some crazy damage. Crazy damage. Can you go first, Palfin? That's fine. We're going to take some damage from a Liquidation. And that was a solid turn from us. That was a, an amazing turn from us. Going in with that first turn priority move because we know he had Swift Swim and he was going to outspeed and do some crazy damage. That was a big turn from us. So we're going to be able to swap our Palfin and bring out our lovely, lovely little Amoogus. Hopefully he's not going for a Hurricane. That could be a problem, but Amoogus is kind of here just to soak up shots and kind of get in for the battle. So I'm all about it. He's going to set up a Tailwind. So you have Rain and now you have Tailwind. I don't like this. I do not like this. Not one bit. <laughs> not one bit. Let's see what he does. But the rain animation is so much better in this game. It looks like it's pouring. So he brings out Palafin. Um, I think this is just a free spore on this slot. I'm going to be able to spore that slot. And I could go for Kowtow Cleave. Or I could go for Sucker Punch. Which I'm really leaning towards. I'm going to Sucker Punch this thing. I'm going straight for a cow or a Sucker Punch. And I want to go for the spore. Because chances are he's going to flip turn out or swap that Palafin, right? Seems like the most sense. Or who are you Terrasalize? Hold up. Who are you, Terrasalize? The Palafin. And now go for a flip turn? I mean, that makes sense. That makes sense, considering you can flip turn out, but... Let's see what he does. Sucker Punch coming in higher. King's Gambit doing a ridiculous amount of damage. Let's see how this one plays out here. Hurricane's gonna drop. You should be able to eat that up. Good work, Amoogus. I love you, Amoogus. Acrobat's coming out here, and we eat that up, too. I have a guava berry. I am chilling. I am chilling here. I'm totally fine. I am totally fine because Spore's coming out here. We're going to say night night to the Palafin. I'm surprised he didn't swap it or anything. Makes no sense. Makes no sense. But from here, now I can just legit Rage Powder this. And finish off this. Uh, I'm going to go for Kowtow Cleave just in case this Pokemon's going for something else. Knowing that I'm going into it. You know, withdraw the Palafin. He goes for the hard swap on the Palafin for later usage. And... We're gonna rage power the shot here. Azumarill coming here. Kinda scared of Azumarill. Don't like Azumarill. That Pokemon's a strong little booger. He's a strong little booger. Booger. Hurricane comes out here. I could have Sucker Punched it and actually kept that Pokemon alive, but I thought maybe the Pelipper could swap. I think we were going for Sucker Punch. But I'm totally fine with uh, Amoongus going out. Kowtow Cleave's gonna come out here. We're gonna take him out. And this match is pretty much a wrap. We still have Dragonite in the back end if we need it. But I could just bring out Palafin. Palafin. So, I kind of already know what he's doing. He's going to Aqua Jet into my, into my King's Gambit. So, I might just protect it. And then just start having Palafin tee off. Because he's going to bring out Palafin. I'm going to have Palafin. And... Hmm, do I just start close combating with Palafin? What do I want to do here? Because he has Palafin. Oh, but his Palafin's asleep. His Palafin is asleep. We might want to start going after that Palafin. Like, I don't want to save my... What's called might do more damage? Wave well, Crash might do more damage. Let me, let me get the Calyx going. So this is 120 straight up. This is going to be halved. Plus that. I think they do the same amount of damage if I Terrasalize. Oh no, plus Rain. I think Wave Crash is going to do more damage all around. Just because of this Rain. How many turns is left in Rain? We got to check the Rain. We got to check the Rain info here. Before we make a move. We got to check the Rain info. Two turns. I think we should Terrasalize with uh with the water here i'm gonna go into this i am going to go straight into a wave crash in this pokemon and i'm just gonna protect this pokemon because i do believe like an aqua jet is flying through here even on top of that they outspeed me but i think an aqua jet will come through considering we have sucker punch so i'm gonna terrasse my palafin this video is all about palafin even though king's gambit's doing some work in today's video too but palafin's getting that terrasalization i could have saved it for dragonite but i'm looking to end the battle here i'm gonna protect the king's gambit and show me that Aqua Jet coming across. Show it to me. It's got to be all day. No, no Aqua Jet. But this thing's asleep. He slumped. 
We got speed now because of a choice scarf. Tailwind ends as well. So let's see how much damage this can do. Into a not very effective Pokemon. Bro. <laughs> Yo, Palafin, chill on him. Doing some insane damage. He goes for a superpower into my King's Gambit. We protect that one. And at this point, we're going to see if we can kill this Azumarill with a Wave Crash. Wave Crash coming in hot into Azumarill and then just Sucker Punch this thing. Actually, I think it's still going to be asleep, but we're still going to Sucker Punch just in case it wants to wake up. We'll see. I guess I was going for an attacking move. That works perfectly. The Sucker Punch finishes that thing off. Can Wave Crash do enough damage? I think it might be able to. Let's make it happen. I know we outspeed. We've got the Choice Scarf. Wave Crash coming in high here for the win. Can Palfin take it out? This Pokemon's OP. Like I said, guys, the strongest Pokemon in the game at the moment. It is just ridiculously OP. You guys cannot watch this video and tell me that Palafin is not the strongest Pokemon in the game. That was ridiculous. Choice scarfing him, flip turning out in turn ones, bringing him back into hero form, and then terrestrializing with wave crashes. The damage is just insane. Its attack stat was, what was it, 233? On top of that with a base 120 move, which is stab, and then you can terrestrialize into that type and get another stab boost. The damage output was just insane, but this team was absolutely amazing. You have the Dragonite, which you guys got to see a little bit of. That Pokemon is seriously the real deal with that Choice Man and the Extreme Speed with the normal Thrash type. King's Gambit was phenomenal. I love that moveset with the Sucker Punch, the Iron Head, and Kowtow Cleave. Doing some ridiculous damage with Defiant and the Life Orb as item. Then you got the other three kind of support Pokemon on this team to clean everything up. You got the Moongus, the Arcanine, Sableye, and everything just gelled together perfectly. But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.